Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shankar De. Hope all of you are doing good. Previously, so many of you are asking me which college I have got in last NEET PG examination. So I have got my dream branch, MD Medicine, in one of my dream college in Kolkata. That is Institute of Postgraduate Medical Education and Research, SSK Hospital, Kolkata. And here is the academic building of my dream college. IPG MER and SSK Hospital Kolkata Academic Building. So now I am going to share 10 best strategies that you can follow to get your dream branch in NEET PG examination or INI CT examination. So let's proceed with the 10 best steps for preparation of NEET PG. So first strategy is concept building. You should clear your concept for every subject of MBBA. So watch the videos first. Don't directly jump over to revision videos. I know revision videos are short, crisp and concise. But if you watch revision videos first, it will create some lacuna in your concept. So don't go to revision videos first thinking that you are running out of time so first watch the videos if you are starting late in your in your preparation like in final year or during your internship it's better to watch the videos in 2x speed and for uh, note in case of note i will suggest for final year and interns it's better to buy printed notes and if you are starting preparation in the first phase during first year and second year you can make your handwritten notes so this is the first strategy and of preparation after the completion of first read you can watch the videos of mcq discussion and image based question discussion second strategy is integration of subject knowledge for this strategy first you should read the same topics from different subjects or specialties and integrate the knowledge from different subjects. Suppose if you are planning to revise cardiovascular system, first you should read the development of heart fetal circulations from embryology part of anatomy. Then you should read the anatomy of heart coronary circulation from anatomy. Then from physiology, you should read the cardiac physiology. Then from uh, pathology part, you should read the atherosclerosis, myocardial infarction, rheumatic heart disease or infective cardiitis. From pharmacology, you should read the drugs acting on cardiovascular system. From pediatrics, you should read the different congenital heart disease. And from medicine, you should read all the aspects related to cardiovascular system like heart failure, MI, etc. Then you should integrate all the knowledges acquired from different subjects or specialties. So this is the most important for nowadays for different competitive exam because nowadays examiners are very fond of asking clinical scenario based question that will check your knowledge of integration from different subject or specialties. For this purpose of integration of knowledge, you can follow module based learning recently launched by prep ladder up this is very new features that is added by prep ladder app this will make your preparation in a systematic manner so let's hear about this module based learning from national level faculty dr pritesh singh this is dr pritesh singh national level surgery faculty and faculty of surgery at prep ladder dream pack 4.0 is launched and one of the most amazing feature is module based learning. See, there are two types of learning. One is subject wise learning in which you are going to study all the topics related to that particular subject. And the second is module based learning, which is kind of integrated learning. Suppose you want to study the renal system. So you can study the renal embryology, renal development. You can study renal physiology. You can watch the videos related to renal pathology, renal pharmacology, renal medicine, renal pediatrics and renal surgery. So this amazing feature is highly beneficial for NEET PG aspirants and students preparing for next. Good luck. So the third strategy is question bank solve subject wise question bank module start practicing question early 
and try applying your knowledge what you have read just reading notes won't take you any year so you are never late if you start it today make a habit of practicing at least 100 to 200 question per day and reading explanation is must because it will clear your concept give more stress on the previously asked topics because if you notice carefully topics of every competitive exams are almost same only the way of asking is different so more give more stress on the previously asked topics and don't run after controversial question just leave it so coming to the fourth strategy fourth strategy is custom module actually many students don't know how to use or apply custom module you can make your own set of question using custom module you can choose specific subjects particular topics under some important taglines or headings like recent neat question recent inict instruments clinical scenario based question or any other like investigation of choice drug of choice uh, uh, unlike problem question so etc so you can make your own sets of question and practice start practicing them so make your weak segment much more stronger by practicing custom module it is the most useful tool for preparation of NEET PG or any other competitive exam like INI CET so start practicing custom module from today so the fifth strategy is regular test GTs or grand test subject wise test and mini test GTs are must your target should be from the first phase of your preparation one GT in a month during your revision part one GT one GT in two week means tw GT twice in a month and during last month of, of your preparation one GT in a week means four GTs in last month so during your real exam it is felt like giving another GT after giving GT another important thing is analysis of GT because without analysis of GT giving GT is meaningless so you should analyze your GT if your time is short at least you should check the incorrect responses and read the explanation part very well and make your concept crystal clear so give GTs on a regular basis mind it not giving GT is the biggest mistake during your preparation so give the test regularly so the sixth strategy is revision revision means retention more you revise more will be retention of knowledge or information allocate a certain amount of time every day to revise all the stuff that you have learned before you can also watch revision videos for this revision purpose because revision videos are short crisp and concise but you should watch it after, only after first reading of subject videos so you, you can also make chart of all the volatile topics so make chart of volatile topics and stick stick it on the wall of your reading rooms and another thing uh, make a list of previously asked topics on your notebook and just seven days before the exam revise all the topic that has been asked in competitive exam last five years so please revise all the topics that has been asked in last five years because sometimes questions are questions usually asked from the same topic but in a different way so you should revise all the recent topic that has been asked in the previous exam so that is the purpose of revision so the seven strategy is not directly related to the study but it affects your study that is social media and relationship refrain yourself from the social media at least for the preparation year select proper friends and peers group because it is highly essential stay away from the people with negative vibes or energy stay connected with people who always give you gives you support and <clears throat> try not to get overwhelmed by the 
burden of expectation don't compare yourself with the others because all of us are different and total revision that is required for the exam will also be different so ultimately the hard works actually matter so work hard it will definitely pay off so eight strategies never give up believe in yourself always you are never late there is no set time period to start your preparation start your preparation early be consistent work hard and self motivation is the biggest factor because no one can motivate you better than yourself and during your course of preparation you may get exhausted depressed but never give up whenever you feel tired exhausted take break for few hours listen to music or spend the time by watching a movie so that's about the preparation phase so never give up till the result each strategy is choosing appropriate platform choose appropriate platform for your neat pg preparation and always trust your source and preparatory is one of the best platform for neat pg preparation or inicit preparation you can download the preparator app from the description link has been given on the description and the features the newly added features and the specialities about preparator also given in the description you can read the description part well to know more details about the preparator app so choose appropriate platform for your neat pg examination always trust your source and go with your preparation very well So the tenth and final strategy is exam day preparation or preparation for the final battle. Sleep well at night, day before exam. Maintain your good health throughout the preparation phase. Seek medical advice if required. If you are suffering from any major depressive disorder, don't ignore your health. Please seek medical advice and care. Good food, hydration, and regular exercise will keep you fit for the exam. so all the very best my fellow juniors and as all the aspirants hard work doesn't go unrecognized so work hard and come out with flying colors so that's all about the neat pg and inicit preparation strategy so for more videos don't forget to follow my channel dr shankar de and also don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching this video